Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tech Metals Tuesdays and Thursdays. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the update as of January 2024 for hafnium. And hafnium, similar to our metal that we discussed last week, which is praseodymium, hafnium has a very, very high melting point and is used for nuclear reactors and in aircraft engines. Hafnium has a super, super high melting point, just like praseodymium, very similar. So that's why it's used for mega, mega large industrial uh, use cases. The difference between hafnium and praseodymium is that hafnium is considered a technology metal and praseodymium is considered a rare earth metal. Of course, there's a lot of differences that are, is not just having to do with those two factors, but praseodymium is actually included in the lanthanide series in the peri periodic table of elements, and hafnium is not. It is located somewhere else on the periodic table of elements. However, it is still very, very an important metal to have. Hafnium actually is replacing silicone in semiconductors and has a, a lot of use cases in our everyday modern life and innovations that are popping up in production all over the world. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how hafnium has really changed over the last few years when it comes to price performance. Back in 2022, the price performance of hafnium was around $1,500 per kilogram. And now the last price I was just given for hafnium is $4,235 per kilogram. Wow, that is uh, the last re recorded price. So it could either be sometime now as of January 2024 or it could have been like the December 2023 price. But nevertheless, Hafnium has really made a huge, huge uh, increase and huge performance over the last two years. And this is really interesting because apparently the hafnium did not make the roster for the UK's list of critical materials. And I'll link the, the blog post down below for where I found this out at. But if hafnium is used for so many important industries and it's used in so many important products that we are using on a daily basis, then why wouldn't it be on the list of most critical minerals uh, for the future? It's just really hard to believe that Hafnium didn't make the cut for that list. And according to Fortune Business Insights, the global Hafnium market is projected to grow from 396 million US dollars as of last year in 2023 to US dollars 669 million by 2030 with a compound annual growth rate of 7.8% percent during that forecast period. So it's very interesting to see that the experts are saying that hafnium is going to continue to increase, going to continue to uh, Im improve uh, by a compound annual growth rate of nearly 8%, which is massive for any kind of tangible asset. And it didn't make the, the UK's critical minerals list. I don't know if it made any other worldwide critical minerals list, but that was just one article that I saw that did not acknowledge the importance of hafnium. But hafnium is very important for the global economy. It's very important for the innovations and in technology and also the aircraft and nuclear industry. So in my list, or I guess I could say on the TMN Global's list of critical minerals, Hafnium would definitely be on the, on the top 10. One last thing I just wanted to mention in this video that I thought was very interesting is that the sources of hafnium is coming mainly from Australia and South Africa for our sources for TMN Global, a real world AG, where we are getting our metals, um, which is very interesting. A lot of metals are starting to pop up out of Australia. A lot of rare earth metals, technology metals are starting to be sourced from there. So it could be that in the next 10 years, Australia could be a force to be reckoned with. It could also be a worldwide competition against China. Maybe they are going to be the next China when it comes to supplying rare earth minerals. Australia is a very 
resource rich land and now it's starting to gain not notoriety and recognition for having critical minerals. So really interesting to see how Australia enters into the mix and offers more capabilities to diversify the sourcing of these technology metals from other places outside of China. So that is all I have today for hafnium. Hafnium is on the rise. It's really gone up in price, as you can see from this video. Definitely check out hafnium. It may be one of the future metals that gets listed in the TMN Global Shop. So nevertheless, keep your eye out for this very interesting metal and stay in the loop. Get into our Telegram group. Uh, register for free on our platform at tmn-global.com and you'll be automatically uh, in our newsletter when you register and you will get all kinds of updates about these metals and how the times are changing every single month there's something new coming out because rare earth metals are definitely a hot topic for industry and politics. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care. I will see you all next time in our next Tech Metals Tuesdays and Thursdays video. Have a good one and ciao.